Ah, you know what? No matter how many times you look at Mount Fuji on a screen, it never really does it justice. Sometimes you have to see it with your own eyes. And, speak of the devil, it's Mount Fuji. That's right, guys. This isn't a blue screen, a spectacular view of Mount Fuji from that magnificent tiny apartment on wheels. Right, I'm going back to bed. See you later. <laughs> If you head out into the Japanese countryside these days, you'll probably witness a booming camping and outdoor scene. And let's face it, it's not hard to see why, given the spectacular scenery that the country has to offer. Especially combined with the fact we've just spent the last three bloody years unable to go outside. Well, today we've managed to lay our hands on a one-of-a-kind prototype built by Mitsubishi Fuso, whose canter trucks you'll see all over Japan. For the next 24 hours, this Nomad Pro is all ours, and we're better to put it to the test, both as a living space and on the road, than the base of Mount Fuji and the scenic shores of Lake Motosu. You think the view of Mount Fuji is spectacular? Wait till you see what Mitsubishi Fuso managed to pack inside this truck. We're going to take it for a spin tomorrow, which I'm a little bit nervous about. I've never driven anything quite like this, but first things first, let's go and take a tour inside and somebody is waiting for us. Ooh, who could it be? Take a guess. Three, two, one. Who could it be? Hello. Hey, Charlotte, how you doing? Good. It's amazing in here. On Can I show of, it to you? Yeah, on a scale of one to like good. Very good. Very good. Impressively good. It is insane. All right, I'm coming in. Wait, is this a bath stool for a shower? It is. Oh, but before I show you this, which is actually my favorite part of the whole place. Right. I want to show you this wall because it transforms into a whole office. Are you having a laugh? Oh, yeah, let me okay. shut the door. <laughs> Let's be cozy. Oh, so cozy. All right. So if you sit down there yep. and I sit down here, so you just push this little latch. Right. And then there's another latch here. Right. Oh, my God. Slides oh, out. Oh, and then this flips over. No way. And you have a desktop. Yeah. But wait. There's more. It gets better. Impossible. Inside here. Yeah. We have computer Whoa. monitors. Two of them. Two? His and her matching monitors. <laughs> I can edit one video. The dream. You can edit yours. Why are there two? That seems excessive. No, it's, it? it works really well. Right. So you can pull one out like this, right? Yeah. Oh my God. And then this one will pull it onto this side. And there's another bench that'll pull it over there. So we can both be sitting here. Wow. working on our videos. It's starting to feel more like a workspace on wheels than like an apartment at this point. Definitely. It, it would be perfect for that. I want to see the kitchen. I want to see the shower, but it's a little bit cramped. Yeah. Should we open up the wall? Let's do it. Okay. Show us how you open up the wall. Come on. Okay. So this panel folds down right. to give you like a little balcony. Yeah. It pretty much doubles the floor space yeah. of the whole thing. It's really nice. We're going to mm. have a little barbecue later. We can sit up here mm. with a view of Mount Fuji. Fantastic. Who's going to be cooking the barbecue? Not you. Who wants sausages and salmonella? Delicious. <laughs> okay, but the best part, okay, push the little button. Yep. The one that says up, but watch your head. Why, what's gonna happen? Oh my goodness. Whoa. -ho -ho. It all opens up. It's, it's like so a transformer. Cool. Transforming RV. That is so cool. It's pretty much like tripled the size of it inside it, right? Yeah. Good God. Yeah. That's well, awesome. Before you burn down the entire campsite with your no, cooking, no. let me show you the rest. Yes, let's check out this kitchen and shower. Ooh. All right, I have to crouch awkwardly, as it is quite literally a very tiny house. <laughs> um, but I'm going to show you guys the washroom. How cute is this little onsen ofudo set? You can sit on this little bench. Beautiful. And Beautiful. have a nice shower with Mount Fuji out the windows. So <laughs> let me show you how it works. There's a door. No, not opens. another door. What the? F like this. <laughs> Take the shower off. Bye! So it's like its own little shower room. That's insane! How is that? Is it actually spacious in there? It, I wouldn't call it spacious. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, let's see, let me grab the shower handle. I think, yeah, there's definitely I'm enough. I'm just going to switch the shower on. Enough room. To, oh, God! <laughs> just going to put the shower on now. Is that all right? Go for it. Yeah, go for uh, yeah. uh, No, fuck no! <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Away with you. This is all storage. Please just open up. Mm -hmm. Quite a bit of space in here. And then this is a toilet. <laughs> what? This will be the only thing we don't use in the RV. I'm not yeah. quite sure how it works, and I don't think I want to know. 
But um, yeah, overall, it's pretty pretty cool setup. They've used this very small space very well. There's a little shelf here with shampoo, body soap. It feels like feels like a business hotel, mm, honestly. Mm. So this is the kitchen space. If you watch the first few years of abroad in Japan, this is actually bigger than my fucking kitchen yeah. in that apartment. That's saying something awful. But we've got a light switch. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that's not, that's not What's that? Oh, this is the button here that triggers the pump for the water. Ooh. Ooh. And the uh, light switch there. But what? I can't believe there's like running water. Where is it coming from? Probably. Like a magic. Oh, OK. <laughs> Not so much magic as engineering. Uh, there's uh, four bottles of water in there. Probably enough for uh, a few minutes shower. My usual 20 minute shower out the window, unfortunately, it's fine. Can't have it all. But there is a fridge. And within the fridge, Ooh. which is op fully operational, we have Chris's dinner. <laughs> Check that. Yeah. Uh, they're really nice. They've thought of everything. Um, I mean, the thing that amazes me the most is the shower and the fact that, like a traditional Japanese shower, the water goes through the floorboards. So I'm going to test that out tomorrow morning. And we're also going to see the bed. But as the sun goes down over Mount Fuji, I think it's dinner time. Given Lake Motosu is 900 meters above sea level, it gets pretty chilly around here at night. And so as the sun sets over Mount Fuji, before we head into our home for the night, we crack out the campfire and I put my Michelin award-winning chef skills to the test. Mm. Check that out, what a beautiful campfire. I love camping, it's my favourite thing. This is definitely the first time you've ever been camping in the entire time I've yeah, known you. In about 20 years time. <laughs> it's been bad, but look at this. Got a sausage, yeah? Got some hamburgers. Yeah, I've cooked it just for you. Check that out. <laughs> Very worried. And some uh, nice processed cheese there. Mm. <laughs> the sausages look good though. Yeah, you, you can't go wrong with those really. So. <laughs> Well, I did cook it, but... Uh, Cheers! Uh, two foreigners were found dead of food poisoning this morning uh, by the base of Mount Fuji. Oh. Set the bar pretty high for camping, though. This is might just be Japan's best campsite with that view, right? And the camping car... Honestly, everything is really perfect. I feel like I'm not going to be able to take you camping now because you're just not going to be impressed with anything. No, never again. <laughs> I think the first time I made a video with Charlotte ever was here around Lake Kawaguchi and we drove around yeah. and we went around on bicycles. We dropped the sausage all over the floor. We went to uh, Fuji Q Highland Park, the best Not theme park in that. Japan. And Charlotte nearly died. That was the worst experience of my life. Oh, sure. Thanks for that. Oh, oh. Tomorrow, do you want to go? No. <laughs> no. I'll drive it. We are not going. We're, we're definitely going. We're definitely going. <laughs> Well, having survived my barbecue, it's time to head inside to bed. But not before dramatically closing the wall and entombing Charla within the RV. <laughs> Look at this, Charla in a burger van. It looks like one big hot dog stand or something. <laughs> or uh, the merchant out of Resident Evil 4. What are you buying? Anyway, can I come in now? Sorry. I've set up the bed, it's All quite right. comfy. What we gotta do now is close it's really comfy, the roof. Actually. Are you ready? Yes, All right. maybe. <laughs> Oh god, oh god, <laughs> beheaded. Oh, oh. Into the warm, cosy interior. Come on oh. in. It's so much warmer. Yes. It made such a difference. As soon as you closed this, it got like 10 degrees warmer, I swear. <laughs> it's very cosy though. It's nice, yeah. I was worried it was going to be too cold, but now I feel like it's starting to warm up already. Is there a heater in here? No, so. Body heat. <laughs> Yay. It's crazy. If you hadn't seen the rest of this video and you just saw this now, you probably wouldn't even know it was a camper van with a nice wooden finish until you look that way and see it is very much a camper van <laughs> and it is rather cramped. But it isn't so cramped that it's like claustrophobic. It's quite spacious. No, it's really cozy. To me, it doesn't feel that cramped, but that could be because I've lived in Japan for a very long time. Mm -hmm. um, but it's comfortable. And yeah, the bed is good, right? It's good, it's really nice. Yeah, it's soft. Ooh, it's got a memory foam Ooh, mattress. Ooh, a memory foam mattress. <laughs> it's better than our bed in the apartment. So back here we've got the power switch, so we can turn the power Ooh. on and off. There's a place to charge phones. This tells you how much battery's left in the camper. There's some crisps that I spilled <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> Thoughts on your first proper camping experience? Um. 
I really like it actually. I think I could probably spend a week on the road in this thing. Uh, I especially like in the summer months that you could open up and have this amazing panoramic view while you're at your desk working, right? Like uh, during COVID, the whole workation kind of movement really kicked off in Japan for the first time. People working on the road uh, and then it died off and everything went back to normal pretty much straight away after COVID. But uh, yeah, I think this is a really cool concept. I'm interested to see how it drives tomorrow. Let's hope I don't write it off, the only one of its kind. But uh, yeah, uh, really glad there's no toilet in here. That's the only thing I think we could ruin it. Well, there is a toilet, but let's face it, we're not going to be using that. Luckily, we're at a campsite and there are some nice toilets here, but I will try out the shower in the morning, though. See how I that's think it's on. cold water only. OK, maybe, uh, maybe <laughs> there'll be no shower tomorrow. But first things first, let's go to sleep and uh, see how well we can sleep in the camper van from the future. Whoa. It's 9am and it's time for my morning shower. And it's right over here. Check this out. The moment we've all been waiting for, the moment of dread. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Should have probably taken off my jeans as well, but there's, oh, God. It's quite refreshing, actually. It's a good way to wake up in the morning. Good old little Hinoki wooden bucket. Fill that up. <laughs> and that's how you wake up in the morning. So even if you've never been to this spot before, you might have seen it without realizing it because it is in fact on every single thousand yen bill in Japan. There it is. It is, yeah. it's the exact view. So if you stand here and you line it up like this. Oh wow, yeah. Lake Motosu, the best view of Fuji. But how do you sleep in the uh, in the car last night? Was it good? It was a comfy bed. Mm. Uh, waking up to the sunrise was amazing. Just the, the sounds of nature in the morning, you know, the, the water gently lapping the shore, the sound of the birds chirping. And the sound of him snoring horribly all night. Oh. But it's time to take this baby for a spin. Let's see how it handles out on the roads of Fuji. It's time to write it off. <laughs> God help us all. Hey, life on the open road. This is a manual. You can drive manual or automatic. Oh. It's my first time driving a vehicle of this size and scale. We're doing it up a mountain. What a stupid idea this was. Why did I think of this? We well, should have gone to Fuji Q. No. Should have gone to theme park. <laughs> this is much better. No. To be fair, surely the roller coasters of Fuji Q are safer <laughs> than my driving on this mountain. I'm not going to argue there. <laughs> I feel like this vehicle is just one big tease from Mitsubishi Fuso. Like, what a great RV we can make. The best in the world. Amazing. But you can't buy it. Like, seriously. You can't make something this great and then not put it on sale. It's my birthday coming up and I know what I want. <laughs> car that <I'm>, doesn't exist. <laughs> a car that doesn't exist and driving lessons for a manual because I've completely that forgot how to drive manual. So normally this is the part of the video where I would tell you to go and buy the truck in the description box below. Buy it now. But you can't because it's a prototype. Although it is sad it's only a concept, it's pretty incredible to see this type of truck that's synonymous with Japan city streets being customized and used in such a unique way. This is the one time I might be like, yes, let's buy an RV, like taking an office on the road. What a great place to edit as well, just here overlooking yeah. Fuji. But it'd be interesting to see what Mitsubishi Fuso think up next. Yeah. They have lots of wacky and exciting prototypes on the go. But Charlotte, what was your favorite thing um, about the Nomad Pro? Just imagining owning one of these and being able to park it anywhere in Japan and mm. edit from the workstation is so cool. Uh, well, yeah, you really could work in it yeah, quite comfortably. Yeah, comfortably. Yeah, and for me, it'd have to be the shower. <laughs> Just even though the you shower- You enjoyed the shower this morning? I'd have to find a way of mixing it with hot water, probably, <laughs> or embracing the cold, a very Spartan way. But uh, yeah, honestly, 10 out of 10, loved it. What do you think though, guys? Let us know in the comments below. I'm sure Mitsubishi will be checking out your ideas as well. If you have any wacky prototype ideas, let them know. But it is a prototype, it's the only one. Now I've got to drive it back to Tokyo without crashing it and writing <laughs> it off, um, the, the scariest part of the video. But we're not gonna film it. Yeah. <laughs> See you later, guys. As always, check out more stuff on the Abroad Japan Patreon. Let's get going, back to Tokyo. I've never felt so much pressure. You have to see that didn't click my... <laughs>
You gonna make us breakfast in the morning? No. Oh, it's burning my kneecap. <laughs> I could be Stanley Kubrick sometimes. But first, let's shut the door on your face. You have no idea how many takes this took. 